Hello, in this video I'm going to flip through all my July spreads in all my Erin Condren planners. Um, so if you want to see what worked and what didn't work, um, make sure you're subscribed and I'll be right back. So hey, I'm Kristen. Welcome to my channel. I make videos about simple home management, you know, like planning, homekeeping, menu planning, stuff like that. Um, I upload three times a week, every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So thanks for being here. Um, let's get into um, July 4. I have, this is my hourly planner. This is my daily duo and this is my horizontal. These are weekly planners and this is a daily planner. So um, I've been using three right now just to kind of feel out what I really need as far as planning goes. Um, but let's start here with my um, hourly planner. This is the one that if you watch my channel, you see a lot. I do my um, plan with me's every Monday in this planner lately. It's really just a creative outlet. Um, honestly, it's feeling a little redundant and I'm kind of like, I don't know, over it, I guess. And that's part of like this process of using these different planners just to see what it is that works for me and what doesn't. Um, and then once I find out what works, I'm sure it's gonna change again. <laughs> that's just how it goes. Um, okay, so this is kind of what I use for creative, like playing with stickers, right? Stickers are fun. I don't need stickers to plan and to keep myself um, organized, but I like it. They're cute. I like supporting small shops. Um, and I just, I don't know, it's fun, right? Um, so I might actually give this a break in a little while. Um, I have some stickers planned out for the next like month or two, but after that I might kind of give it a break. Um, anyway, so this is my July spread. Um, I really liked doing this. Um, I liked this kit, it was very fun, and um, I liked the colors and everything like that. Um, I liked having, um, just all the pertinent information right here. What really worked for me was having, like using the dashboard. I don't usually use the dashboard in my spreads um, or in my planning, but I made a like effort to pick a reason to use this and I did. I referenced this like these hours quite a few times, especially the library hours. I liked having like this list on the side of like running to do's and I liked having like the whole sheet being kind of dedicated to one thing. It helped me see what I needed to, um, like what kinds of things I wanted to keep track of. And then that helped me then decide how to use it the next month. I like dialed it in a little more. Habit tracking didn't work. I knew it wasn't gonna work. I still know it's not gonna work. I'm just not into habit tracking. It doesn't do anything for me. And the only reason I did it was because the kit came with a habit tracker. And yeah, I'm probably not gonna do habit tracking anymore. Um, so this was, I loved this kit. Um, the colors are great. This is from Orange Umbrella Co. I think it's just called Hawaii. Um, I liked like just everything about this kit. I did not use this spread very functionally though. Like I, you can see here, I have like a checklist of things I wanted to film. I keep track of this elsewhere. And so I just never needed to come back and check this off. So, I mean, I did use it. I just, most of the time when you see check marks in here, it's like after the fact. It's like when I'm going to plan the next week, I kind of look and see how I did this week and then I'm like, oh, I did those things and check them off. So I'm not actually using this functionally throughout the week. I use my daily duo for that and you'll see that in a minute. Um, this was another spread that I loved. Um, July is my birthday month and so I used a lot of the kits that I used were ones that I like loved a whole lot. Um, this one is also from Orange Umbrella Co. Just love the colors and like the retro vibes. Um, yeah, more habit tracking that I didn't stick with. This, I definitely went back and checked these um, off after the fact. Um, yeah, 
So there's that. And then this one was probably one of my favorite spreads I've done. And the difference is how much white space there is. So that's cool, like I figured that out. Even though I loved all these stickers, the white space is what I really loved here. Um, and this was also a no kit week. I was trying to use all of my Orange Umbrella Co. like freebies and then just a couple of extra functionals um, that I don't normally get to use when I'm using kits. And I loved this. I did add, after the fact, a couple of, um, these came from a different shop called uh, Nerds the Word. But I think everything else on here is Orange Umbrella Co. And you can see I didn't go back and check things off. Like these things happened, a lot of this stuff happened and I didn't check it off. Um, that did not happen. I didn't check it off because it didn't happen. <laughs> um, okay, this was my birthday week and um, more things I didn't check off even though I did them. And yeah, I mean, there's not much else to say. Whatever, um, sometimes what ends up happening is I'll film the week because I film it like on Friday for the following week. And so once I'm into that week, I will move stickers around. And I usually buy repositional stickers um, because of that reason, I tend to move things around. Um, and then this was the last week in July. So there's not really much to say about these, I guess, because I do the, um, the plan with me's and I talk about it during that. Um, but I think what I would say here is that it is working for having some, a fun place to play with stickers. Um, it is not working functionally. I don't need, I don't, I'm finding like the vertical planning style is kind of not really my jam anymore. It used to be, it used to be exactly what I needed. And now I don't know, I'm just not, it's not really, it's not really it for me anymore. So let's move this out of the way and let's go with my other weekly planner. Now this is my um, horizontal life planner and I bought this on a whim because I realized that I liked horizontal planning and um, so I thought, okay, well, let me try this. And um, for the month of July, I did the same, um, like basically just kind of the same exact stuff is in here that's in here, but these I just used. Um, the Erin Condren customizable stickers and then these are just um, Planner Kate functionals and I tried to do color coding which here it is. I tried to kind of um, figure out a color coding situation, but that doesn't work for me either. Like orange is my son, and then um, like the teal color is for me, purple is appointments. It, you know, it just, I put a little key here as well. It just didn't, the color coding means nothing to me, I guess. And so, I don't know. It's good to figure that out though. Um, this is what really worked. Um, and I have another version of this in my, my daily duo, but this is literally just, I used this page for a running to-do list, like an, a brain dump, an inbox, whatever you wanna call it. Um, and I actually was getting things done because I wrote them down here. And that, I just, I just basically committed to myself that I'm gonna write things on this list so that I don't forget them and then I can go back and check them off and I don't have to worry about making it like a perfect and cute. Um, the same with this, um, this like dashboard thing. I basically just used it just for just general things and I wasn't really worried about making it cute. And so I think that's the key for me is that when I'm trying, I'm overthinking the process of how to make it like look good that I don't, um, I kind of like shut down and I'm not using my planner like functionally as a tool anymore. I'm more using it like to have something to show on the internet, I guess. And that is not the goal. And I was falling into that and I don't want to do that anymore. Um, so I'm trying to be a lot more mindful when I'm using my planner to just write in it. Like, you know, who cares if it looks good? If you make a mistake, white it out or cross it out or whatever, right? Um, so these are things like, these are the things that I knew that I really wanted to make sure I did 
this month and I was I was making progress on them and so yeah it might not be the cutest spread in the world and not, it's not inspiring at all in that way but it worked so this planner if you watched my Franken planning video which I will link above um, I have been I added notes pages to this so these are the notes pages um, this the back of this is a daily duo sheet um, because I have two dashboards in here and you'll have to watch that video to understand I don't want to get all into it but I covered it with just a checklist sheet from a plum paper that I just cut down to size and washi taped in this really works for me this is what I use to keep track of the videos that I want to get up here on YouTube and each step of the process and you know what videos they are what days they're posting and how far I am in because a lot of times I will film maybe like three videos in a day but then I won't edit them all on the same day and then they're not some of them don't need to go live until like later and so it's nice to have a spot to keep track of that whereas like I was showing you in here there was a spread where I had some things I wanted to film I didn't need this because I do this so it was just redundant and it was just really I just wrote that in there to have something to write in there the weight tracker I do that on my phone I made this because I couldn't think of what else to put there and a lot of people do this and so I thought maybe I'll do it too I don't I'm not using it and plus I don't really want to write down to show you <laughs> what my weight stuff is this is a freezer inventory this I just it's a free printable I got from organizedhome.com printed it out on regular like a full size sheet of sticker paper I believe it's 75 or 80 percent something like that and just cut it down fit it in um, I just put the washi on here to help like so you can kind of see where it is in the book to flip to it easier without having to have a bookmark um, I do use this um, I actually need to go and count some chicken thighs I just put in the freezer to see um, how many are in there and if I need to add another line for those this is the formula one schedule and the drivers this i've memorized now so i don't need it anymore and then this i don't need either but i like it i have it on my google calendar i probably won't put this in my next planner but i liked having it when i needed it school information um, this was just i downloaded it off the internet off the school's website and then I removed any of the identifying things so that because I knew it was going to be on camera so there's no school district like names or addresses or school names or anything like that um, but I put it here and I do reference this quite a bit and I will do this I will continue to do this and then this facing page is just for some school information specific to my kid um, just covering up some stuff there that y'all don't need to see and then once we get his school schedule I'm going to put that here. Um, I will need to know what times he's in certain classes. Like if I need to make a dentist appointment, I'd like to make sure, you know, he's not missing a certain class on a certain day or something like that. So that's why I want to keep track of his schedule. All right. So now we're into the first spread. Um, this what is great about this planner is I didn't care what it looked like I just wrote in it there's no stickers I mean I did do some happy birthday stickers there and you can see here I like I said I was trying to color code and so there are certain things that I used highlighters for to color code that didn't work for me and it was just adding extra like I had to think about it ahead of time because I have to put the highlighter down before I write on it so that it doesn't smear it was just adding to the process of getting things written down and so I just over time I just stopped doing it like you can see here I got less and less highlighting and then I wasn't highlighting at all and that honestly like that's just the trial and error of it um, all this stuff is the same stuff that's in <clears throat> excuse me that's in my sticker planner but this is just using my planner with no care to what it looked like and I tried to kind of categorize things like I tried using this little um, there's like a little um, box like an empty box I tried using that to do like my social media stuff but then I had more that didn't fit in there I don't know I was trying to figure out my rhythm but then once I just decided who cares just write down the things you need to write down and who cares where you put it 
that it kind of was freeing, right? Um, I was putting like dinners down here and then I started writing the dinners in here and it, it kind of like clicked a little better for me so that I could just like know to look over here and see what we're having for dinner. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think, I mean, I'm going to keep using this as just a way to write things down and not have to plan it um, and not have to worry about like what it looks like. Um, let me just kind of show you an example, like just writing things down and not worrying about, um, uh, oh, are these going to, is this going to look good with the stickers I want to use, you know? And so... I don't know, I think that kind of planning works a lot better for me. So, and then I did a monthly reflection on the back of this page here, and I had added it another plate page that I'm probably not gonna use, so. Um, this was nice to have a spot to do monthly reflections. So now we're into my daily duo. Now, this book I use every single day. This is like my ride or die. <laughs> um, I, I was using a weekly because there wasn't, I wanted to have a weekly overview. Um, now that Erin Condren added another page, it's even easier to have a weekly overview in here. Um, another monthly, I didn't need a third monthly with all that information on it. I don't like redundancy unless I need it to remember something, but like, I don't know, it's really weird. It's almost like, I don't know, hypocritical, not hypocritical. I don't know. It's like I say, oh, I hate having, I hate redundancy, but then it's like, well, I have to write it three times or I'm going to forget it. Like, it's not, it's weird where that works for me. Having the same thing in three different planners doesn't really work for me, but like having it in like a weekly overview and then having it again on a daily page does. I don't know how to explain it. I don't, it's weird. Um, so this is another version of like what I was showing you in here that really worked um, with that like inbox page. And I was, I realized after I had started that in here, I can do this in my daily and my daily, because I literally look at this every single day, it made more sense to have it in here. And so I did it in here and then I had used, I had already started using this dashboard as just a way to record like, any of my social media goals. And so I figured out what worked and what didn't here. And like, you know, habit tracking doesn't work. I did post on most of those times I wanted to post. I just didn't check it or didn't track it because I didn't care. And so I stopped worrying about habit tracking there, but like I figured out like the things that I wanted and then I put them um, where I needed them in my following month. So liked having this again it's not cute it's not decorated but it was so functional and that's what i need when i plan is functional stuff so now let's look at every single day here um, just daily stuff sometimes i didn't add a whole lot sometimes it was literally just trying to survive what do i need to do let me get it out of my head and i put it here some days i would make a little bit of an effort i messed up big time here um i think i tried to write it out write it out saturday like real cute and i didn't like how it looked so i ended up just whiting it out and covering it with a sticker um yeah, and then this is where I, I did like a week at a glance using a sticker kit. I'll link a video where I talk about um, my week at a glance situation in my planner. And then I just use this as a notes page. And a lot of people are using the notes page for the week at a glance, but since I combine my weekends, I still have Sunday for a week at a glance. And then I still get to use this notes page for whatever I want. So this was... Um, I really like doing smart home stuff and when Prime Day was coming up, I, I was like kind of just making some notes in case I saw anything during Prime Day, like at a discount, that was something that I would want. I didn't end up buying anything for Prime Day. So, um, and then let's see, so basic to-do lists, like nothing special. Um, this is one thing I noticed and you'll see as we go through, I always would write my PM routine down here 
I do these things, but I never check them off because at that point I'm not coming back to my planner. I already have like reviewed my day and like looked at what tomorrow is going to be. And then I don't, then I go do these things and I don't ever come back to check them off. When they're checked off, it's because I thought about it in the morning and went back and checked them off. But I don't know if I need to keep putting my PM routine in my planner. I don't know. It just feels weird to not put it in there because I always put my AM routine. And these, this is not only the only thing in my routine. It's just, those are the things that I want to make sure I do. That is something I can like check off, I guess you could say. Um, but yeah, this just literally just, you know, time blocking and to-do lists. Um, actually this, this um, I didn't write down on. I need to look for ramen spins on. So I'm gonna write that on my list here. Um, uh, my son, I, I dropped his ceramic like spoon that he likes to use for eating ramen and it broke. And I keep looking for them everywhere and I can't find them. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what they're really called. They're just like the little ceramic, like tiny little spoons. Anyway, I just need to remember to get him one, but this is all basically just the same. And you see, I never go back and, and check those things off more combined weekend days. This day, I just used a couple of stickers from my Erin Condren book and then, um, just wrote everything out. Um, this was a week at a glance that I didn't like, I just wanted to be very minimal with it. Um, I liked the minimalness of it. What I didn't like and what I realized as I've gone on is that I need to divide these days. Like I need to draw a bolder, a bold line in between and divide the days that these like date things I did. I just used dots here and wrote like the initial of the day that wasn't like good enough. Like it was still like, I need to, I need a visual, um, break to see each different day. And so that's something I learned there. This, the notes page I was gonna to use to make my list for the Planner Kate anniversary sale. But then um, as I was shopping, I realized I didn't need any of the things that, the things that I was gonna buy, I, I will get a better discount if I wait for that category to go on sale for a Warehouse Wednesday and I didn't need anything like immediately. And I'm kind of like feeling I don't know, like less creative, the more I used kits, um, I guess. And so I wasn't, I just didn't need any kits and I didn't need anything else. And I decided not to buy anything. And so I didn't make a list. This was just a, like a thing I made, um, for things I wanted to clean in July. And I did three of the five things. Um, we'll just put that over there. Okay. So we keep going, just more like no highlighting, no stickers, nothing fancy, no stencils. I realized that that's just, that's how I need to use the planner, you know? And that's how it was working for me in these weeks, I guess. Mentally, I just didn't want to deal with making it look cute. And so I just needed to do the bare minimum. And that's what's great is that it's still functional, the planner, the thing that we pay all the money for the great paper and the layout and like the quality that's all still there. You don't need to add like a bunch of decorations and cover everything up. You know, that's something that when I start doing that, I don't, I question to myself just because I'm so functional. Like I'm like, what am I doing? What is the point of this? Why am I covering this up? And yes, the point of it is because it's fun, but in the days where it's not fun, then I'm like, why am I doing this? And these days it wasn't, it wasn't going to be fun. And so I didn't do it and it's fine. And it still works. Interestingly enough, the pictures on my Instagram that get the most likes are the ones where I don't use a lot of stickers or any stickers. Most people want to see this. Most people that follow me or see my pictures on Instagram want to see this. Just some interesting tidbit. So here was an example of, I didn't even do a, like a, t a combined weekend on here. 
um, on the Saturday page like I normally do. I barely wrote on it on a Friday and I just kind of took some notes while I was editing some videos. This page, this set of pages, since I didn't end up, I, this I went to after the fact. So normally I would have done like a week at a glance here for the following week and I didn't. And so whenever I was trying to make a list of something later on, I decided, oh, I can just use these blank pages. And this was gonna be like a plan for my menu, whenever my, um, my meal prep for my menu. And as I was making the list, I realized that what I wanted to do wasn't gonna work and I just kind of like abandoned it and didn't ever go back to it. More just lists, more lists, I kind of, did something, did, did little dashed lines here to try to color, not color, uh, what am I saying, time block. And I mean, I didn't, I don't know, like there's just nothing, <laughs> nothing exciting here, but that's just how I needed to use the planner that week. Um, here, um, I just did a little bit of extra. I kind of took the green theme and ran with it. And I just did my Saturday and my Sunday and kind of checked some things off as I did them. And then here again, this was another time where I did my week at a glance and that's what helped me realize this doesn't work for me unless I break the days apart, like using like a ruler and drawing like a line like here would be like ideal. Like that's what I need to do. You know, I need to break that up and not just leave it blank. So that's good to know. I tried to do like a brain dump here, but then I was still using um, this page that I like committed to using. And so this, that didn't work either. So it's kind of funny how we have this extra notes page, but I haven't really been using it. Um, I used it one time, like really functionally, and then I just, I haven't been using it. And so I don't know, I'm, I'm amused at that. I'm still gonna, probably utilize the Sunday page as a week at a glance because I can and I like that it kind of it has divisions already um, I know how many like hour blocks I need to like divide it in half for my weekends and I know that I can use like two hours for each day of the week for my week at a glance it's like it takes all the like counting and guesswork out of doing it here so I like using that, but it's nice that I'll always have an extra page for whatever. And then just more blank, just pen and pen and paper only spreads. Um, here was just like a weekend page, and then the week at a glance is for August, even though it's behind, it's in front of the August tab. It's not in my August. It, this is still a week at a glance that I am using. Today that I'm filming this is Tuesday and I am filming my flips right now so I can cross that off. And that is that in my Erin Condren Daily Duo. Um, so basically, I am still kind of feeling out what I really need as far as planners go. We planner people tend to get like, I don't know if it's FOMO or it's just because we always see this stuff and that's like the whole point of marketing. The more you can get it in front of someone's eyes, the more they're gonna want it and whether they need it or not. And like, yeah, we fall for that and we want it because it's fun and we like it and it makes us happy and that's fine. There's value in all of that and I'm not, there's no shade in that. It's just, I am realizing what I need and what I don't need. And I'm not, that's not to say I'm never gonna buy an extra planner I don't need. I am, I'm, I like doing planner reviews and I like playing with this stuff. Um, it's like a guilty pleasure. I don't like spending money, but I will buy planners. It's like, um, I don't know. It's like the pull of like the angel and the devil on my shoulder, I guess. But what I am realizing is that right now, my daily planner is what I need. It's got my monthly, I can make a weekly in it and my daily stuff is all there. Um, I have room for extra lists on those blank pages if I need it. And I think that is kind of just right now, I'm trying to get it like, on camera, me saying this, so maybe I'll remember it later, is that really, I think I only need a daily duo. Um, 
I definitely don't, right now I'm kind of like over stickers. I've been using the stickers like every single week for months and months now. And that's probably, I don't know, probably contributing to some burnout there. Um, and then because I do the week at a glance in here, um, I don't think I need the weekly overview that I thought I needed um, when I bought this. Um, I don't know. I'm not really sure. I am, th things are about to start getting more and more busy. I may not have room on a week at a glance. Well, the camera shut off just as I was doing my little outro spiel, so I don't know how much of that got caught on camera, but let's start over. So anyhow, that's going to be it for me. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you really liked it, please consider subscribing. I do post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And yeah, I'd love to have you join the fam. See you next time. Bye.